Hi everyone, it's Jen with Wild Stitchers. We hope this finds everyone well. We're very bummed that we don't get to see you all in person, but at least we get to give you a virtual tour of what we have. Um, this was going to be our first year at SSK, but uh, unfortunately, you know, things weren't kind of lined up the way they needed to be for this to happen. But we do plan on being there in 2021. So we'll see you then in person. And hopefully until then, we'll still get to chat with you a little bit. Uh, if you got any questions about our stuff or drop us an email, you know, whatever it is. And we hope you enjoy what we have. So we'll kind of get started here. First thing I'll show you here is our some of our supported spindles and our drop spindles. Uh, supported spindles are great. Uh, they spin wonderfully. They're not too heavy, but not too light. We have a wonderful mid-whirl spindle here for cotton spinning. This is a very lightweight half-ounce spindle. Uh, otherwise, for spindles, we have these gorgeous drop spindles, which are anywhere between about one and a quarter ounces and two ounces. Uh, perfect for beginners, great for, you know, and they work great for those who have been spinning for a while. We got lovely designs in these. Some of them are laser etched. We got the tree of life. Some lovely butterflies. Nice little heart clover design. Some cutouts. And then we have these wonderful three-dimensional engraved. We got square ones, multicolored wood, more square flowers. We got a round etched one here, or excuse me, engraved one. Look at the detail on this one. It's wonderful. Again, all of our spindles, drop spindles are anywhere between an ounce and a quarter, two ounces. And then we have our supported spindles to go with our supported spindles. We also have spindle bowls. These two are little tabletop bowls that you can spin on. And then these taller ones here are knee bowls. So you put those between your thighs and then you can spin with your supported spindle on your lap. Wonderful hardwood, great. They're nice and beefy, so you don't have to tie your legs out by trying to hold something that's really small. Um, kind of helps, helps with anti-fatigue of the thighs while you're holding this and spinning. Next to these, we have our wonderful, beautiful yarn bowls. These are all hand turned, different types of wood. So our top one here is cherry. This one is walnut. This one here with the designs on the top is also cherry. And this one is actually oak, cherry, and walnut all in one. We also have some plain oak ones down there and another cherry one. So we got lots to choose from. These are hand turned as you can see, finished to a high shine, nice big deep bowl. Um, these bowls here, the good thing about these is these won't break when you drop them. Uh, we don't have yarn guides in them because these bowls are quite pretty as they are and it's kind of hard to uh, cut, cut a yarn guide or a yarn hole through these. So you're not going to find a yarn guide on them, but they're beautiful show pieces and functional. To go with our yarn bowls, we also have these wonderful loaded yarn boxes. These loaded yarn boxes have basically everything you're going to need. It's got a six inch ruler on it, on the front. Each of the sides have needle or hook gauges in them. One side has the small needles or hooks, the other side has the big ones. And in the back there is a yarn guide on these. These are all laser cut. Um, and that's why you see the the different colors on there. That's kind of a neat thing you get with the laser cutting because that's that's actually the burning of the wood that you see there. So these are our loaded yarn boxes, and all of them have some sort of design laser etched into the front, whether it be the sheep or a tree of life or a Celtic knot. Uh, if we move over this way, we have our blocker wall as you can see it as I step out here. We have on top here our sock blockers, non-adjustable sock blockers. We have these in four different sizes. We've got large, medium, 
small or youth, and then we've got small youth or toddler. So you can really pick what sizes you need for what socks you do most, or multiple sizes if you do different sizes. Uh, so like our large is a kind of typical men's size uh, sock, or a larger female sock. About a size, female size, nine and a half to, or excuse me, nine to ten, nine and a half to ten. Um, our medium is kind of our typical women's size, and that's running from like a women's five, or excuse me, a women's seven to nine. Our smalls are about a five to seven, and then our toddler is a toddler size. If you knit socks for multiple shoe sizes and don't want to get a lot of different sizes of blockers, we also have our adjustable blockers. So you can see how it's got this gear pattern here and these little things here. Not sure what you want to call those flippers. Um, one of these sock blockers will block a sock for nine different shoe sizes. Um, we've got numbers along this side here, one through nine. You will get a business card that tells you what those numbers correlate to in men's and women's sizes. The large size here will actually go up to a men's size 16 shoe size. So if you're creating socks for a uh, large foot, then that will actually be a good blocker for that one. If we move away from socks, we have Norwegian mitten blockers with thumbs, so you can block your thumbs as well. We've got large and medium sizes now. Um, we get request form, we can make small sizes as well. Just kind of depends on what the need is, what the desire is. So now if we move over here, look, there's our logo. Then we have other things over here. We have our regular mitten blockers, again with thumbs, and the fact that these have opposable thumbs or removable thumbs works great if you're doing a thumb gusset or an afterthought thumb. We have these in three different sizes. We have a large, which is about the typical men's, men's hand size. We have mediums, which is our... Um, typical women size hand and then we have smalls which work for small women hand or um, youth size children sizes now if we go up here we have several different things for different different um, fiber arts we have our let's turn the camera this way our yarn twist gauge to kind of help you keep a consistent twist in your yarn that you're spinning. We have our wraps per inch, which works beautifully for helping you find substitutions for your knitting, helping you tell what kind of yarn you're spinning. There's many different functions for a wraps per inch guide. We've got a combination tool or a multi-tool here. This has got a spinner's control card here down these etched lines. It's got a two inch wraps per inch guide. It's got dizzes for fiber prep. And then it's got your yarn twist gauge on it. So multifunction, fun tool, something that uh, every spinner can use. I know I've used mine multiple times. For those that like to do fiber prep, we sell just the dizzes. Very basic. We also have our needle and hook gauges. So sizes US size zero up to a 13 for both hooks and needles. We also have a centimeter ruler and an inch ruler on here. Um, so a good thing to keep in your bag if you need it. How about swatch gauges, the dreaded swatching what we all know we need to do, but we all hate to do. Well, maybe not all of us, but um, anyway, this has the, the cross in it, the T, not a T, but the cross, plus sign, uh, four inch by four inch. This kind of isolates out one row and one column of your knitting, so you can easily count 
for a worsted weight or DK, it's about one stitch width apart. For your lace work or fingering, you know, you may you may see two two rows, two stitch width in each of those. Just kind of depends on your stitch size. We also, for spinning, we also have Turkish spindles. We have them in multiple different woods. This one here happens to be a three-tone. We've got a walnut and a cherry and red oak in this one. There's a better focus on that. So we've got multi multiple different ones of those. We also have up here, Nasta pens. Nasta pens are great for hand winding yarn. If you have a mini that you wanna just get wound quickly or you're in a car and you're not wanting to, or you don't have the ability to have a ball winder or you just don't wanna pull your Swift and ball winder out. This works wonderful for that. We've got them in multi different woods. This one here is an aromatic cedar, so it's got that wonderful cedar smell to it. And as you hold it, you get more of that cedar smell as the wood gets warm in your hand. Uh, it's a great fit. We've got multiple different sizes, different woods. And we also have belt shuttles. These are great for small weaving projects. We've got a five inch one. We've got a seven inch one. And we have nine inch. Let's see if I can pull one of these out here. Belt shuttles are great because they work as both your shuttle and your beater bar. These are tapered. As you can kind of see there, I hope you can see. Tapered at the bottom to work as your beater. To go along with the weaving, we also have I always pronounce this wrong. These uh, null binding needles, I believe is what they're called. Like I said, I always pronounce it wrong. Wonderful needles. They're about four inches long, a uh, quarter, quarter three eighths inch thick there. Um, so a nice, nice thing. These are actually new for us. We're uh, just getting them listed in the shop now. And uh, we also have our Swifts, which I don't have one of those handy, but uh, our Swifts are tensioned. So as you wind your yarn and you have to stop to uh, do something else, then your Swift actually stops because it's tensioned so it doesn't just keep spinning like most Swifts do. So I hope you like everything you see. Um, oh, and I don't want to forget, if you've watched this all the way through, you know, your secret code for SSK for Wild Stitchers is blockers. Again, your secret code is blockers. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please convo us on uh, Etsy. We can also be found on Instagram at Wild Stitchers or Facebook, again, at Wild Stitchers. Uh, so find us, say hello, drop us a line, give us a like, follow us on Instagram. Follow us in Etsy, you know, show us some love. And we hope everyone is doing well, and we hope to see you in 2020. Have a great weekend. Bye.